Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm going to share a few products that I picked up. If you'd like to see what I got, keep on watching. I did pick up a Carity palette and it's called Posh. I'll put a link down below to that video or put it here somewhere maybe. And it's a little bit of a review on the palette. Or I got to thinking, I don't know if I'll have everything here because I haven't really filmed a haul video in a while. And I, I just, certain days, like I might have grabbed this or that here. So I'm not sure if I'll have everything that I picked up within over a time period or show you get to show you everything. So I'm sure some videos I'll be like, oh yeah, I got this and you know. At any rate, I did pick up the Anastasia Prism palette. I knew I was gonna do it because I just love collecting her eyeshadow palettes basically for one. And I liked some of the colors in here too. So I ended up picking the Prism palette. Might do some looks with it. I do plan on doing some get ready with me. So if you guys like those kind of videos, so yes, picked up the Anastasia Prism palette. Oh yeah, I want a shoe. A oh, shoe. I want a shoe. I won a shoe. That's what I almost sound like I said. Really, Lori? <laughs> so, not even gonna ask. I want to share two Lancome products that I have had, and I totally forgot about them because one's like a little deluxe sample and then the other one I got from I did a video years ago shared on there about L'Oreal uh, testing like where you get products sent to you and you can test some products out and L'Oreal it just they don't have just their, they have other brands like Lancome and all that kind of stuff uh, they're all in, in one. If you didn't know that, yeah, Lancome and L'Oreal, like L'Oreal owns Lancome or Lancome owns L'Oreal, whichever way, but yeah, it's kind of all in one, just a little more up the ante for Lancome, obviously, you know, with their products and stuff. Now, the thing with this L'Oreal testing, which, wow, the light got bright in here, but with the L'Oreal testing, the thing is, is you don't always get picked. You just uh, answer some questions and it will let you know if you get picked or not. So that's kind of how it works out. Let me just say I have only gotten once and I've been doing it for years. So only one time did I get anything and they sent me a little package of goodies and everything. So I, I never got to use this product and have been using it a couple different times. The first product I'm going to share is one of their um, blush uh, subtle palettes. This one's in 152 Menage Atroce Glow. I'm, I know I'm butchering that because I'm sure it's pro probably supposed to be like a French, but it's pink tones, really pretty pink tones. Like there's this beautiful, like shimmery color here. I don't know. I think you can take them all together and just swipe it if you want to, or take one color or the other. So I'm, I pulled this out and I thought, you know, I never really used it. And what a shame. It's a long comb for crying out loud. And then I have this little deluxe sample. I can't remember who gave it to me. And I have been seeing Kathy Beauty Care Chats, my beautiful little Kathy, and somebody else. I think it was Mary Glitzy Fritzy and sharing the Star Bronzer Natural Glow uh, La Mer. And I thought, I have that. I'm pretty sure I do. I mean, obviously, I don't have the big one, but I have my little mini me. So a little mini me. And I've been playing with this little guy. I put him on today. And yeah, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I only got to use it once, one time. Like, what is wrong with me? Lancome is a good brand. Just wanted to share those two things. They aren't something I recently bought, but I just wanted to share them. So I bought another, and I didn't open it yet, because I still got very little left. I still got a little bit left to use. But it's my Matrixel 3000 Argoline and Vitamin C from Asterwoods. Love this stuff. I'm telling you what, it is one of the products that I found works really good for me. And... I feel like it has done some changing for me, for my skin, like the hydration and everything. So I get mine from Amazon. I can't put a link down below, but that's it right there. And I love this stuff. While I was on Amazon, I figured, you know what? I'm going to get me some castor oil. So now this, this tube's getting a little, it, it, it is real thick and it's a little bit messy. That's the only little whatever I have trying to get any out. Like I try to be as careful as all careful and it but it's very 
very thick, as you know, castor oil. And that's it right there. It's from Teddy Organics. I've heard Teddy Organics. Some people have shared some of their products. So I thought I'd give it a try and see. And, you know, like with my eyelashes, I wanted to work it with and just different things. And also massage my scalp, you know, to kind of keep my hair um, in good shape or as best as I can as, you know, like with everything else in the aging process. Then I seen uh, Natalie, the beauty diva. She always shows this. And I've been wanting to get it, and it was like I didn't for a while. And it's the Thiers uh, Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula, alcohol-free toner, toner, and it's the petal or rose petal. And I love anything rose scent. So I grabbed this, and I've been using it a couple different times. And it also, like with it being non-alcohol or it has it's alcohol-free, that's you know something I always look for now because I don't want no alcohol on my skin or on my face. I already have drying, terrible dry skin as it is. And then, so I, this, I should have made this the YouTube beauty community made me buy it because then this one is Mary Ellen after 60. She shared this many times as well as Laura Shake Up Makeup. I'm going to have to look by and see who all I mentioned because I'm going to put them down below. When I, when I mention somebody and, and if they have a channel or anything like that, I'm going to put them down below. This is the Special Care Apple Smoothie Peeling Gel. This is that ganache. It's from uh, my zone. I did pick this up because I do like how a ganache works. I like this one better than the pineapple one I ordered from Skin Food on Alta. It seems to work similar to the Body Shop one that I have that I really like. It, the only thing is, is it's like $25. I probably still would purchase it again at some point just because I did enjoy it. But this is cheaper. So right now I'm going to stick with this. And I think this is like around seven something, almost eight dollars. So yeah, I've been wanting to try Makeup Revolution for a while now. And I will put a video down below where I did a comparison to the Subculture palette, to this one, <clears throat> to this palette here, a comparison to see if they were a dupe or not. So I'll put a link down below to that video, probably even here somewhere or something like that. This one here is called the uh, Reloaded Iconic Division. And it does have... A lot of the same kind of colors as the subculture so i did do that video and did one eye with one one with the other then like if you spent 40 you got free shipping and i'll tell you what i got from tam beauty and it pretty it was pretty good it got here in a decent time i mean it wasn't like it took forever or too long or anything like that this one is my sign uh revolution fire sign and like each one will say you know, of a, of what sign you are. This is an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So it's not Gemini. That's what I would be, but I liked the colors in this one. So that's why I grabbed it. It's not my sign, but I liked the colors in this one here. So that's what it looks like. It, oh, it just looks so pretty. It has like such beautiful warm tones. I don't, I only see like two matte shades in there really. And everything else is shimmer so i can't wait to play with that so pretty what actually made me go and and get on tam beauty was there was a certain palette i wanted and well, there was a couple and they kept they were all like sold out on alta so i thought dang now i'm gonna go on tam beauty and that's where i went on tam beauty to see if it was there and there it was and the one palette i wanted makeup revolution uh I don't know, do you call, is her name Sophie, Sophie X, Sophie X? Is that how you would say, I know she's a YouTuber, I guess, or something like that. I don't know of her really well, but this has 24 uh, eyeshadows in it. And oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with this one here. Uh, it has that sort of like um, sleek, you know, sleek palettes, how they are. Um, that's what it has, like that kind of casing and everything. does have the names on here, on the paper, but it doesn't have on the shades. But at least it does have some names because mostly the other ones, as you've seen, d uh, don't have names on them. And the other thing is, is this does have a mirror. So if you take it with you, it does have a mirror and it will stand up. So that's another nice thing. If you put it somewhere and you want to do your makeup, you can set it and it will stay up. But oh my goodness, those 
colors are just so pretty. Camera isn't even doing it justice, let me just say. They are beautiful, beautiful, stunning. And then the last item I got, I thought this was so cute. Like they have on theirs like a peach palette. I swear everybody went after the whole peach uh, thing after Too Faced. Just, you know, people went bonkers over that palette. And, but Makeup Revolution is well known for making dupes or similar to or something like that this is the i love makeup peach and glow and when i see this i was like oh my gosh like it looks like a little mini little peach bar like white chocolate and peach or something like that i don't know but boy is this beautiful this is gonna be beautiful in the summertime there's another one and i think carol from the o'carroll show had it and it had like a pink and a, some other color or something. I've seen her show from there before, but here it is here. This side here is like all of a peach color, and then this is like almost like a highlight. Now, honestly, I probably use it as a topper because, as you can tell, it is more highlighty, glowy, frosty. So I'm going to go in this color first. There, right there. So you, see, you can see. And then I'm going to go on this side here. Let me swirl the shades all together. And there. You can see, and oh my goodness. And it's not real intense, as you can see. Let's try, because I haven't even got a chance to try. Let me try. I already had some glow on, but oh yeah. I think I'll use that a little bit more when summertime comes. I might top it off with a matte peach blush that I have or something like that. I'll put a link down below to all the people I talked about in the video. But I'm also going to do two people for a shout out. The two shout outs I'm going to do is, first one is Makeup by Shannon Marie. She is a makeup artist. She does have her degree and her license. And she so she does do uh, makeup. Uh, professionally for people. Some really great ideas and tips. Her videos are nice. They're like short and sweet and she just shares her tips with you and like one she was showing you um, a good way to use your flat foundation brush uh, which I don't really always use a flat foundation brush but it's nice to know or learn some ideas from it you know and about it uh, because maybe I'm doing something wrong you know just very nice person to watch. She's very pleasant. So I'll put a link down below to her channel. Go ahead and check her out and show her some love and subscribe. And then Julie Smith. I have known Julie Smith for a while too. She, I actually won a giveaway from her. She did a little bit of a giveaway at one point. And then um, she actually won, I think she won a giveaway for me. Yeah, the night uh, serum, the Rosehip Night Serum from Live in Rose. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that worked out, but we won from each other at some point when we had some giveaways. And Julie Smith is a really nice lady. She um, has been on here for a good while. I actually have gotten to know her more, I think, within last year. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I met her through the MAB group that I used to be with. Uh, Middle-aged beauties is what it was called. And she does sell Avon. I want to start looking into Avon products. I used to buy Avon. And I know there is some products that they still have that I wouldn't mind picking up because I used to always like them. So I thought, you know, yeah, when I get my chance to order, I'm going to order from Julie. So I will put a link down below to her channel as well. Please go check her out. Subscribe if you like. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the bell. Make sure you hit that bell because if you do not, you will not be notified of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So if you click the bell, you'll get an email, let you know my videos are up and ready to watch. And I do videos every week. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And I very much appreciate that. And don't forget to share me as well. Because if you share my videos, that will be another way to get me out there and well known. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.